Alright guys, this video is going to be on how to use Fibonacci tools. But first, like always, if you appreciate what I'm doing, go over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and over at Twitter, at WTrades, follow us there. That's D-U-B-Y-A, Trades. Let's get into it. Okay guys, here's the actual definition of the Fibonacci retracement levels. But pretty much, Fibonacci retracement levels are support and resistance lines that uses the Fibonacci sequence. We're going to be mostly associated with the 50% and the 61.8%. But they offer, if used correctly, an, a good entry point. It should never be used alone and always should be used as an extra indicator on when to make a good entry point. Next we have the Fibonacci extension. Here is the definition for you if you want the exact definition. But pretty much this is going to be used after you make your entry point on the same levels to see how far it could possibly go, where to take profits, things like that. Again, this shouldn't be used just by itself, but with other indicators and chart patterns. The key areas we're going to be looking at with this one are the uh, 161.8 and the 261.8. On the Feb retracement, we're going to put our lines between the swing low and the swing high, watch the price pull back to our Feb levels, and bounce that will be our entry point okay let's try this on palantir here so we're going to go with the swing low down here at the bottom so let's grab our fib tool and let's go down here at the red line on the bottom and try it out with our swing low so we're going to put it on the swing low to the swing high swing low is the bottom most point the swing high is the top most point so if I zoom in here and show you that we've got it between the swing low down here at the bottom, which is right around the red line, up to the swing high. Which is around 2280-ish. We can see that the price pulled back to our 61 level and bounced. That's what we're looking for, that price to pull back and bounce and then it should take off. As long as our other, we're following our other indicators like RSI and MACD and our chart patterns. We look for that bounce and then go. After that, we want to grab our FIB extension tool and we're gonna go within the first two points but this one has a third point, so we go back to where it pulled back to. This is where we're going to find out about how far it could go. And if you see on this one, we could have took profits at 161 and that would have been fine. We would have been in good profits there. But you can see this one continued on to 261 percentage on the FIB tool. Now how can you tell? Really, you just either got to know the stock or follow other indicators. For me, on this trade, what I did was I followed the 50-day EMA line. When the price actually broke below it and closed with a good candle is when I got out. Okay, let me show you how that can work on a different stock. Here we have Macy's. You can see that this one's already went up. Let me show you the play that I did. So let's grab our FIB tool. Again, we're going to go with the swing low to the swing high. See where it retraces to and see how it does. So let's go with our swing low. Put it up on our swing high. You can see here again, it retraces back to the 61 and bounces. So again, to the swing low, to the swing high, back to the 61 retracement, and bounce. Now, let's grab our uh, extension tool and see about how this ended up with the, uh, with the bounce. Again, we're going to go with our swing low to the swing high. With our third point, go to where it bounced. We can see here that it ended up 
going to the 161 again the, in, the exit point on this one was my 50 day the green 50 day line was my exit point so we can see how that matched up pretty well too and guys that's how you use the Fibonacci retracement so if you appreciate what I'm doing hit that like button subscribe button and follow us on Twitter bye